I'm Ted Hauser, owner of Ninja Fast Consulting, a web development and marketing company in Lancaster. I'm here today because I'm intrigued by a shift in internet usage that has come as a result of web technologies and sites that better allow individuals to send and route information. These sites are grouped together under the category of social media or social networking. How many of you recognize the social networking site currently displayed on the screen? I'm seeing maybe about 30% of your hands. Can someone tell me what site this is? Facebook is typical in that it includes a status update. So at the top of the screen, you'll see it says Ted Hauser is updating his status message. That's a status update. You can change your status update as often as you want. Below the status update is the wall. A wall is much like a, a community opinion board. You can post things on your wall and then your friends on Facebook can come and make comments about the things you've posted. You can show pictures of your niece and nephew. LinkedIn is similar to Facebook in that you set up a profile and communicate with others through that profile. But the difference is that LinkedIn is designed to be a professional forum for colleagues to network and refer to one another. Whereas Facebook reads like a social diary, LinkedIn reads like a resume. LinkedIn allows other people to interact with your resume. So at any point in time where you've worked with another colleague, if that colleague is your friend on LinkedIn, they can recommend your work. There's a lot of talk these days about Twitter. If you've never been sure exactly what it is, now is a good time to listen. Twitter is a basic site that, like Facebook, has many users with status messages. But that's it. It's only about the status update. You can post 140 characters and nothing more. How many of you have seen this picture? This is a picture of the plane that crashed in the Hudson last winter. And what's interesting about this picture is that this was the first piece of news that reached the world. This was not put out by your traditional news outlets like New York Times or CNN. This was taken by an individual who happened to be riding on a ferry. This picture represents a transition from when news was broadcast out from news agencies to a point in time when individuals can be news reporters on their own. So why is social networking relevant here 